Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about intervals of concavity. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this critical thinking question. Sketch a continuous curve y equals f of x, where f of 1 equals 0, f prime of 0 equals 0, f prime of 2 equals 0, f double prime of x is less than 0 for when x is less than 1, and f double prime of x is greater than 0 for when x is greater than 1. Okay. When I first start with these, let's go with what we know specifically. They tell us right off the bat that f of 1 equals 0. So let's call this point right here 1, and they say, hey, we have a point f of 1 is equal to 0. We got a point right there. All right. So we got that covered. Now they tell us that f prime of 0 equals 0. What that's telling me is that we have a horizontal tangent right there. A horizontal tangent right there at f of 0, uh, f prime of 0 equals 0. So we got a horizontal tangent going on there. And that's where the, second, the first derivative crosses 0, right? x axis. The same thing here with f prime of 2 is also 0. We have a horizontal tangent as well going on there because the first root is equal to zero when x is two okay now they tell us also that f double prime of x is less than zero for when x is less than one and that tells me that we are concave down in that interval remember the second derivative test if it's less than zero on an interval we're concave down same thing here we're concave up. f double prime of x is greater than 0, aka positive, where the other one's negative, this one's positive, for when x is greater than 1. So we're concave up here. Okay. So what's going on? Well, we have a horizontal tangent, right, at 0 and at 2. But we're concave down from negative infinity all the way to 1 right here. And that's going to be our point of inflection. So watch this. I'm going to pick a point. I'll put it up here. I'll say, uh, let's call that 2. And then let's go all down here, negative 2. Okay. So we have a continuous function. It has to be continuous forever. So let's go to the basic polynomial here. We're concave down, so we're coming up like this, concave down, but horizontal tangent going on right there. So we're changing the slope of the tangent line from positive to negative, and we're still staying concave down right here. We have a tangent line right there, 0, perfect, coming down, and then making it even here. Point of inflection happens at 1, goes down here, and then right at 2, we should have another horizontal tangent, so that's where we're going to change from negative to positive, right here at 2, right? And then we're going to come back up to positive infinity. Now notice here on our intervals, we're continuous out of anywhere, negative infinity to positive infinity. Right here, we're concave down, and we're concave up here on our interval from negative infinity to 1 and then concave up from 1 to positive infinity. We have a point of inflection right there at 1. It's kind of happening. I uh, don't really need that specifically called point of inflection. Um, maybe not for my graph specifically, but f of 1 equals 0. We're good. We have a horizontal tangent here at x equals 0, right? Horizontal tangent and as well as at 2. And so now we have just sketched a graph that matched all the requirements that is continuous. f of 1 equals 0, f prime of 0 equals 0, f prime of 2 equals 0, f double prime of x is less than 0 for when x is less than 1, and f double prime of x is greater than 0 for when x is greater than 1. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.